Good morning, everybody, and welcome to day six on the McMaw Trail in New Brunswick, Canada. Well, yesterday, uh, it was a clear morning, and we we're low on food, so Thumper volunteered again to go hitchhike 50, 60 kilometers to get our resupply. And so he did that. At noon, it started to piss him, and it didn't stop till 3.30 in the morning. But as we were getting uh, our tents organized before the rain, I was crying because I didn't have a flat space. So Kyle moved his over there, and I had mine on the flat dipping trail, which floods. My tent is a river inside. <laughs> a river runs through it. A river runs through it. But uh, out of the blue, the 11.30 at night, this light comes down the trail, and who's there? Quack, quack. Stopper with his new cool hat. Stopper, your viewpoint. Oh, okay, uh, the hitchhike. I walked the first two kilometers, saw a guy. I thought he was a moose. He thought I was a moose. Good to go. He, was, he had a flat tire. We needed food. And then I, I got picked up two kilometers uh, by Paul McCartney, Sir Paul McCartney. Amazing resemblance, 70 years old guy from uh, Trackety, Mr. Bordeaux. And then uh, I had to walk all the way back for another 20 kilometers. Uh, so, and then the rain had started about my last hour, hour and a half. So I was pretty soaked when I got the cars, but happy. I went right to a restaurant, charged my stuff, had a good meal. And then I did my little errands. What did you do? Which eat? is, I, I, I had, uh, it was uh, when they put the chicken on the bread there. And I had a veggie with it and a, a brownie, a coffee, a Coke, and there was something else. Fries. Gotta have your fries. Okay, then I went on <laughs> did my mission. The benefits of hitchhiking. So I went uh, Superstore, Tim Hortons, gas, good thing, and uh, what was else to do? Kentucky Fried Chicken and uh, Greco Pizza and Shop for Dog Got all the stuff I needed, headed my way back, and then the road was closed. Big huge sign, road closed. It's like, uh oh. So then I started finding, all, looking for alternate routes, crossing the river, looking everywhere. I'd be going down country roads, trees would be down because of that hurricane, right? Hurricane Dorian. And so anyway, like I said, I got here eventually at 3.30 and uh, here we are after uh, sleeping in the car, the van, and morale is starting to creep up and we're gonna continue on. Morale is awesome. Charlie Mike, continue mission. Well, yesterday I slept a lot, but I was worried about my good friend Thumper. I wasn't. I was having nightmares about him being eaten by bears. Adventure dreams. I was. Adventure dreams. And then he showed up with a big laugh, quack, 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 and I'm like, Thumper? And it was him. And then he gave me pizza and I was happy. And I had El Rancho. Oh, so when you're in the mood <laughs> for some fabulous food, just say Kentucky Fried Chicken for me. Anyways, it's my day was good. awesome. I slept, I updated all my Instagram posts. Well, on my phone, not online. And uh, yeah, so today, we don't know. Access point, a tree house maybe. Lowdowns. <laughs> nah. Anyways, TP. As we say at the end of each video, happy, happy trails. trails. Hey. We'll change that eventually, everybody. Yeah, we'll think of something. And here is my poor 24 ounce tent by Six Moons Design, the Lunar. Wow. I was sitting on a riverbed last night, folks, all along the base, and it crept inside. One thing I noticed, I figured out where the leaks are coming from. See right there? It's not seam sealed at all. Nothing. And here, water I shouldn't splash too bad, but up there, it's really close. Maybe it's stretching, I'm not sure. But inside, I got a big puddle there. You got a puddle over there. And the rest is damp like normal. But yeah, it was a fun night until Thumper came to the rescue. And Thumper was over there. I don't know, how did your tent turn out? Any puddles? I, you know what? Um, I don't know what it was like last night with the pouring rain, but if there was a lake in there, it's... uh. Rain. <laughs> so you don't know. Theoretically slept in there. Okay, and that's it. So we're just packing up, getting breakfast, and we'll be on our way.
Yeah, his uh, tent that doesn't set up properly is dry. Here's the water gravity uh, system by Seanock Outdoors. And I just want to show you the, the flow rate. Look at that. That is amazing. Okay, here we are. It's 10.15. We started late because of the hurricane that gave us almost 15 hours of solid rain yesterday. Flooded my tent because of a default in the Six Moons design seam ceiling. So, this is the trail to start today. This looks familiar. I'm sure it's gonna last. <laughs> but the two guys like normal are leading and are silent. What do you think guys? I think you should be my new friend. That's an extra two ounces. <laughs> Wow, this has got to be the biggest one of the trip. And we finally get to the Plateau on top with the scenic outlook. Huh. Nice scenic outlook, eh, everybody? Yeah. And that's why, why not? Got his trail name. Well, we had to just cross that. We just got a little tad wet. Look for Thumper, but he turned around and walked the other direction. Not a word. Huh. This is crazy. We've been climbing for the last 45 minutes. Never thought I'd see this on the Mi'kmaq Trail. Still climbing. Might be almost as tall as Mount Carlton. Doubtful there's a summit up top. <laughs> they haven't done that far yet on this trail. Okay, Mr. Thumper, what did you just say to me? You gave me a cookie and a couple of chips and I realized that's just a plot for you to carry less food. You mean you're saying I'm not nice? <laughs> You're nice, but with qualifications. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I admit it. <laughs> well, here's our reward for climbing for the last hour. The summit. He's the king of the castle, and I'm the dirty rascal. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful summit. Whatever this was. Okay, let's descend.
Kyle's gone way ahead. We heard him giggling half hour ago on a river crossing. In case you're wondering what's in that cup, it's probably very cold coffee by now. Still hot. Okay, we had about 15 hours of solid water yesterday. Look at this. This is a just a low bearing area, the trees. And look at all the water coming down. And look at it, look at it go. It's like a stream. Crazy. What's your comments on that, yeah, Bumper? You know what? It looks like a, a beaver dam, but I don't think it is. It's just all Debris. that water coming down at once washes all the broken branches. They get hooked up on these trees and it forms a dam. So I don't think that lake was there two, years, two days ago. No. Pretty cool, though, the, the weather we've been having. Yeah, we've been walking really levelish and wide for the last 20 minutes. Must be approaching an access. <laughs> it's only 6.5. If it's flat like this, why stop? You know what I mean? Whoops. Wow. This is a otter camp, everybody. Nice water source there, and oh my god, that looks so huge! Oh wow, look at this. Okay. Pads for sleeping. Nice. But my question is, water can get in up there. Huh. Anyways, lunchtime. Someone left the door open too. Well, good day everybody, and welcome back to another edition of the Base Camp Card Game. But the surprise edition is we just draw one card, everybody gives their answer. So let's start with why not. So we got the five of clubs. And the question is flying or invisib invisibility? Nice, I like this one. So what's your answer? Flying, because I can go wherever I want in the world and see what I want. Okay. Thumper, oh. who's bursting some blisters. Again? Flying or invincibility? Visibility. Flying, flying or being can't in see. Invisible. Oh, flying, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, the, the freedom, that'll be the, the cats. We know what you're gonna yeah. pick. <laughs> Flight or invisibility? That's an easy one. Invisible, you know why? I can go into all the banks and steal all the money I want and become a billionaire, which should answer another question. And money is happiness. Anyways, uh, just up past the teepee along the river here, there's a tent platform. And the blue trail continues up there, so we'll check up there too to see what's up there. Oh, I went about 10 minutes already. Blue trail's still going that way. 
but there's no camping sites here at all. Maybe it's another alternate blue trail leading up to the main trail, but I'm going back down now. That was a waste of time. I wish it would have had a symbols for tenting areas as well as the teepee areas and the tent platform areas. But that would be very handy. Just a suggestion. Oh, is this beach? Oh, here we go. Uh, we've got another letter done. This is K. Uh, it went fast. Uh, Adrian was talking the whole time and the time just passed because uh, I was just enwrapped with everything he had to say. <laughs> and he was enwrapped with himself saying it. Yeah, it was a good good conversation. And and this is a good uh, a good spot. It's the first of the animals, otter. And there was a teepee, which we had lunch and uh, tent platforms and stuff. So hopefully that means the trail is getting better and better with more facilities. Hope so. I wasn't impressed with the teepee because it rained last night and got everything all wet inside. Yeah. But it, Anyways, this section of the trail brought to you by... The letter K. Can you do that again? <laughs> oh, that stick went in deep. Oh, you did keep your socks on. How was that, Thumper? It was wet. My feet are wet. They but feel good though, right? The yeah, I think I'll be all right. Yeah, we had to wash your socks anyways. Yeah. Best way to do it, folks. Yeah. While shepherds wash their socks at night while seated round the tub. And we come to a flat, which we love. Well, here's the trail this afternoon. It was flat. It's going back to flat, I think. And I have a funny feeling we're gonna go down. Huh. Why not? About a half hour ahead of us, having a time of his life, full of confidence, and a happy hiker. And here is the big tree of today. Ah. Yeah. Okay, how about this for a crossing? Yeah! Guess what silly me did? <laughs> yep! I got to the middle. Some all fell, but not on my butt. My legs held me up. My legs took a lot of damage. And I uh, hopped across the rest. Thumper, went down there. Normally, this wouldn't be flowing this fast. And we can go across easy. But uh, Thumper, on a scale of 1 to 10, how stupid was my maneuver? 
Well, I got an ounce and empty to do it myself, so, but my uh, daredevil days are over. Not that there were much, so, you know, I'm kind of proud of you for trying, and I'm glad I got it on film, <laughs> and uh, at least the aftermath. And I, I probably got a photo of before and after of the uh, actual ball. That's cool. And uh, it looks superficial to one. I know, they're just super, one's bruised, there's a big bump on one and of them. really cool, I'm jealous, so. You're jealous? Yeah. The bruise is right there. That's a big one. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. And I got a reward. From Walmart. No. Costco. Costco. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> and I got a cut on my face too, he says. So there goes Brave Thumper. Getting ready for the water climb to pick up my bottle right there. Be safe, dude. My hero again! And he's back. See? <laughs> Perpetrator was armed with a 1.5 caliber smart water bottle. Yes, he did it. He yeah, did it yeah, my hero. Thank you, Thumper. <laughs> Yeah, by myself now. Thumper's going to the low gear now for the rest of the afternoon. Cal's up ahead, proving his confidence of hiking, which is really good. Very proud of him. He's done a great job so far.
It's about five in the afternoon, everybody, in case you're wondering. It's cool here, isn't it? Nice. How's it going? Hey, come back here. Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome back to the evening base card game. First on the hit list is Kyle, a.k.a. Why Not? So we got the Seven of Spades. Tell all players something you like about them. <laughs> I like Adrian. Uh... Yeah. Well, youth, not youth. Um, wealth of information on Hiken that he's passing on to me. Does that count? Yeah. And Neil, I like Neil because he's a friendly giant. <laughs> Neil. Um, I like Adrian because he's uh, humble, and uh, <laughs> and he has a. Uh, <laughs> He's bold. He's bold with his uh, his video making. Like I wouldn't be able to do this because I'd be shy and and uh, just take pictures, uh, videos of people behind their back. And no, uh, Kyle I always, is really I always ask permission. Yeah, Kyle is really cool because he's uh, he's here and he's he's got this enthusiasm that uh, he's not rubbing you know, off yet for, from youth. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he's also and he does it in a friendly manner too and in curiosity. So it's it's good for us who are just you know we're. Adrian and I are aging, <laughs> and Kyle's a, a fresh face in our in our midst. It's good to have three Aww. instead of two. Okay, the thing I like about Thumper, he's always there when needed need him. He's a hero, and everybody loves Thumper. <laughs> Kyle, I don't know. <laughs> I honestly never thought about it yet. Um, he's youthful, like Thumper said. Uh, his enthusiasm should have rubbed off on us by now, but not yet. And I enjoyed the extra body. That's all. I have an extra buddy on the trail, and uh, fudge. Yeah, that's why I like him. An extra body on the trail. And he was the only one that replied to my request for any more people. <laughs> yeah, I thought there was a fourth. That's it. 